Where would you look at that definition for this man getting it today? Yeah, I know, I know, here I am, look, see, I'm updated now, I got all kinds of new- I can't really show that here, I guess. Hey, it's it's me, KJ Whippy, and we're doing another FNAF build thing, and uh, it's it's FNAF 4 time, so we're gonna do that. So before I get started, I do just want to say, if you haven't subscribed already, please consider doing so, and please feel free to check out some of my other content on this channel as well. I do a bunch of other gaming content, let's plays, reactions, all sorts of different things, so go check that out if that's something that interests to you. Uh, there's a card in the corner right now to one of my favorite videos right now. Grass block. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> anyway, yeah, go do that if you uh, if you want to do that. So I went ahead and just skipped right ahead to making the layout of the house because this is such a different build from the rest of the ones that I've made in this series so far. So I'm just going to go ahead and kind of list off what I have here. It's going to be a two-story house and uh, let's just go ahead and get started with labeling everything. So this red box down here, uh, like every other build that we've done, that's going to be where the main game takes place. Uh, this is the bedroom where you try to survive the nights in FNAF 4. Uh, that orange box there is going to be the closet space. And then, of course, those two hallways right there lead to different areas of the house as well. Uh, the yellow box there, uh, for some reason, has a hole in it, and I didn't realize that. Uh, but that yellow box there is going to be where the dining room is. And that green box up at the top left is going to be the kitchen. And then that pink section there is going to be the stairs that lead up to the second floor. And underneath that will also have, like, a small closet as well that can be uh, a, se a separate storage area or something for the house as well and then of course in that uh, entrance way area of course leading towards the top right that leads to the family room the living room whatever you want to call it uh, it's the Afton house so I don't really know if anything's considered living anymore then that dark green box right there is gonna be the downstairs bathroom and of course the purple square up at the top is going to be where the main front door is going to be and that opening actually at the yellow box down there I've decided is going to be where the uh, exit out the backyard is going to be and I'm gonna have a little porch going around the house as well. Now, I don't exactly have a block set up for what I want for the walls or for what I want for the floors or anything like that because I want this to kind of be more experimental with how I do this because it's different. It's very, very different from what I've done before. So I'm going to go ahead and try to just experiment around, see what I can figure out, see what I can play around with, uh, really use my Minecraft builder knowledge uh, in terms of block palettes and stuff like that to really make this place fit. So give me a little bit here and let's see what I can work up for this first floor. One of the cool things about this updated mod pack, which by the way, this is the Tony's FNAF mod pack on CurseForge. It has been updated to 1.19.2. There's a bunch of new mods and a bunch of updated versions of the older mods that it has. And one of the new ones that it includes is Quark, which has vertical planks, which is really cool because it gives off this striped effect. Which I'm actually trying to give to uh, this room here. Uh, as I want to give it another wallpaper type of style as you've been seeing throughout the entire rest of this place. So that's kind of cool. All the rooms have their flooring, their walls, and all the things of the such. Um, this is a really weird house to make, but going off of the different games and seeing how the different Aftons decorate their homes, this, they really like weird wallpaper, so that's kind of what I had to go with. And you might be wondering what exactly this is, and this is actually supposed to be based off of the room at the end of each night from Sister Location, where Mike goes after he finishes each night and watches TV, watches that Dracula show or whatever. So this is kind of supposed to be a reference to that. Maybe, uh, maybe, maybe Mike still lives in this house in sister location. Maybe he still lives here and that's why it's so easy for him to get to work. I forgot the walls in the bathroom. And of course, now it's time to lay out the second floor. And I know that this looks really weird, but try and keep up with me. See if the, any of this makes sense to you guys. So we have, of course, the stairs leading up to this platform here, which down one hallway here leads to that room that we see in Five Nights at Freddy's 4, where the plush trap minigame is, or I guess Nightmare Balloon Boy if you play in the Halloween update, whatever. Uh, so that has the X on the floor there and a big old chair right there for that. Then everybody wonders what those four rooms in that area are for. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and make two of them, uh, some storage closets, one of them access to the attic, and then one of them is kind of like another like small kind of den or reading room kind of thing uh, that a lot of houses had uh, in that time. And I guess that also have in this time it's kind of like the equivalent of a loft and then the pink uh, the green and the yellow boxes here are going to be different bedrooms upstairs here as well and that's really all the upstairs is for is for different storage different bedrooms bathroom that kind of thing really the, all the main entertainment stuff is downstairs so 
honestly, that's probably all that I need up here. And to clarify something real quick, while I do have the main room from FNAF 4 in the bottom floor, I'm not going to be making that necessarily the crying child's room. Because I feel like, logically, that kind of room would not go to the kid of the house. I feel like the parents would take that kind of room. The, the giant room with two entrances into it, I feel like that would go more for a parent than a child. So I'm gonna have his room actually up here. I'm gonna base it off of the uh, the mini game room, which I'll put on screen right now, actually. And then also, of course, I'll be basing the other rooms off of the other rooms that you see in the mini games as well, such as the sister's room, etc. So anyway, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started with this one as well. Forgot to mention that this little space right here in between these two bedrooms is going to be the bathroom for the upstairs. Now as I stand here in this very dark, very creepy looking place, time to start working on the interior decoration for each of these rooms, which honestly is going to be kind of tedious now that I think about it. But it's okay. Of course, first off, we've decorated the bedroom here on the first floor uh, to look just like the room from FNAF 4, which honestly, I'm really happy with how this looks. And I did actually include the wall block from the updated mod here, uh, which makes a really good popcorn ceiling like you see in the, uh, in the actual game. So that's really cool. Unfortunately, this isn't centered, so I didn't put the light on the ceiling here that normally goes there. Uh, but there is still the lamp here and the lamp here, of course. And I did include a flower pot as well as a hint to the Easter egg where you see the pot of flowers up here every now and then by the bedside. We never actually see this one here. We're normally looking at it from like this angle, so that's never actually seen. Uh, but since there's not enough room to put multiple things on there, I went ahead and put it there. And of course, we have the plush. And of course, inside the closet here, not really much going on here other than the Foxy plush there. And then, of course, t-shirts and stuff strewn about because, uh, you know, what kid, what kid in their right mind would organize their room? Maybe I should organize my room. Next up, we have the left hallway, which, as you can see, is based off of the one in game, as per usual. It's got a nice little painting here, a lamp, some pictures on the wall and stuff, which I actually just used the kids drawings items here in the game. Uh, so that's pretty cool that I did that, I think. Of course, you can see there's also the clock over here, which actually does feature the bell and all that stuff to uh, to sound off the end of the hour. And of course, there's a nice little sitting area over here at the end of the hall as well, which uh, yeah, looks pretty comfy. I'm sure, of course, you saw that I've also completed the dining room here, which is also, again, complete with pictures, paintings, and of course, a table here uh, for the Afton family to enjoy their uh, meals together as if they're ever all together all at once because someone's getting their head chewed off someone's getting their guts scooped out and of course we also have the kitchen done as well which there's actually no lighting in here i'm kind of a fool let me uh, just uh boink but yes there's the kitchen here all set up and ready to go as well pretty similar to the other kitchens that i've made in this series as well uh but these actually have fridges that open up and they got little things in them look at them there's a little piece of cake in there that's cute but there's also a little breakfast nook here too uh which i feel like is pretty common in a lot of these kind of farmhouses because if you do remember fnaf 4 does take place in like a farmhouse type of place uh that is uh in the middle of the fields so i feel like there would be this kind of kitchen in that place so yeah i like it of course we do also have the right hallway as well which is pretty much a mirrored version of that hallway except there are these extra windows here other than that it's pretty much the same also there's that door there which leads into the bathroom which i think i'm gonna go ahead and do next because that's nice and easy and pretty simple we also have the bathroom here which is complete with sinks mirrors we got the toilet paper and toilet of course and a shower actually so whoever is occupying this room down here which like i said i don't understand why a parent would give their kid that room so i kind of have a head canon that that's actually just the master bedroom and that's where the kid is hiding out uh to uh get away from the nightmares but uh yeah whoever's living in that room they can use this room to do all of their toiletries and stuff and uh i think it turned out pretty good and here we are with the decorated sister location style room as well now that thing is way bigger than i thought it was but it's the only kind of sun thing that fits the general idea of what the actual thing on the wall is there it's supposed to be a clock that's sure yeah we'll We'll count that, I guess. But also, there's this tiny little TV here, and you can actually change the channels, and it's really cool. It's part of X-Line's Furniture Mod, which is a mod that I actually added to this pack myself. 
Uh, there's also links to all the other mods that I personally added to this as well in the description. So if you want to make something similar to this, you have resources to your advantage. Now it's time for the upstairs. And of course, the first room to get some treatment is actually the sister's room, uh, which if you go around in the FNAF 4 minigames, you can come across a room that has some animatronic parts on the bottom and a pink bed and pink lamp and all that. And that is theorized to be the sister's room from the, uh, from the family, Elizabeth Afton, which honestly would make sense considering that she's uh, she's been munched at this point. She's been absolutely scooped up and absorbed into Circus Baby. Probably okay still, but I mean, you know, you never know. But yeah, pretty simplistic room, nothing too fancy going on in here. Now, the crying child's room is actually going to be a little bit more plain than my usual decorational skills. And that's because I really wanted to capture the simplicity of the mini game room. Uh, because it feels alone. It feels lonely. And when he's in here by himself, you know, there's the part where it's like, you know, he locked you in here again. Like, it's it's sad and it's alone. Of course, I added windows, but other than that, he's really isolated in here, except for his little friends here that also go hyonk. Except for you. You're the same one I used downstairs, but that's fine. Also, there weren't any that were missing their heads. So... Oh well. And of course there's the upstairs bathroom as well, which features a tub as well as everything that we saw downstairs. Uh, once again, nothing too fancy going on in here, pretty simplistic. The older brother's room is also pretty simplistic in terms of decorations. We just have some drawings and stuff up, which I'm gonna pretend are like posters and stuff. Uh, we've got some dressers, his bed of course, and then I actually made him into a gamer. <laughs> I didn't realize that this gave off light, but it's really funny. Um, I think I just think it's funny because it prepares him because you know if if Mike if Mike left and is Mike Schmidt from FNAF 1 then this is just preparing him to sit in front of a computer for a few hours every night to survive against people that want to murder him so hey that's pretty cool <laughs> and of course we have the hallway with plush trap now he's not here currently because I haven't placed any of the mobs yet but we do have a couple rooms here for storage of course got a few things going on in here and then over here we have the den where, uh, you know, this is actually based off of a room from the uh, mini games as well. The room with the sofa and the TV and the orange carpet. This is essentially that room. And then, of course, also the attic uh, access as well, which will I be actually adding an attic? No, <laughs> because I don't want to. But yes, so I'm going to be leaving all these doors open to have these doorways open to limit how plush trap works. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for this area. And with that, it's time to add an exterior, which, wow, this thing looks terrible. I'm definitely gonna be adding exterior with this because this looks just god awful. Wow. I did add a roof because, or at least a roof over on this section, because it needed one to be able to fit to form. But I am gonna be adding an exterior layer around this. So let's see how well I can do that. Well, here we are. This thing's very white. This uh, has the quark mod, like I mentioned before, which actually has the ancient planks, which is a white wood type. It looks really pretty. And uh, I made this a white farmhouse because it's just a stereotypical farmhouse color, honestly. But yeah, nothing too, uh, nothing too fancy, nothing too special here. I really like it. Now it's time to go inside and check her out. So we have here the entrance with the staircase up. We have the TV area over there uh, with the theme from the sister location room. We have the kitchen over here to our right, which we can get all of our feasts and stuff for the Afton family. A little breakfast nook and a bunch of different appliances in here. We have the dining room where the Afton family can gather to have some meals, assuming they ever are actually around each other. We also have the hallway here where it leads down towards the main bedroom here, but it's got a bunch of different pictures and paintings, bookshelves, the clock, and all sorts of different things going on in here as well. Of course, the main bedroom, which features all the different things from the actual game, the toys, the dressers, the fan, the different pictures, paint, you know, posters, little honk honk boy himself, and of course, Foxy in the closet with all these things. We also have this right hallway here as well, which features pretty much the same thing as the other hallway. We have the bathroom, which features all the necessities needed for a bathroom, because, you know, bathroom. We have this under the stairs storage spot, which just has a few crates and boxes and stuff. Nothing super fancy in there. And then as we go upstairs here, we have this hallway, which features the plush trap uh, chair and the X as well to catch him. We have all of these different areas here with the different... Uh, different rooms from the minigames, different storage rooms, and of course access to the 
attic as well. We have the older brother's room here, which is red themed to feature his foxy mask that he uses. He's got a bunch of different pictures up as well, and I've made him a gamer because I'm a gamer and that's funny and haha, whatever. We also have the upstairs bathroom, which again features all the bathroom necessities. And of course we have the crying child's room, which features a very minimal amount of decoration for the sole purpose that uh, it feels very lonely and obscured. And then the sister's room, which features the pink bed, the pink lamp, all the animatronic parts as we see in the mini games. And uh, yeah, honestly, this thing's really cool. And I'm really, I'm really happy with how this building has turned out. Uh, now it's time for what everybody is looking forward to, the nightmare animatronics. So we've set our game tonight. I want to set it to midnight. So that way it is, it is dark, dark out there. So now it's just a matter of setting the guys where they need to be. So, nightmare. So, Bonnie comes. Oh. Oh. Oh, he breathes. Oh, that's awful. <gasps> I'm sorry! So if I look for a flashlight, will a flashlight make them appear? No! Oh, that's horrible! Hi! So then we have Nightmare Freddy, who's technically under the bed, but this'll work, I guess. Does he make his little- Oh, look at him! Step! Oh, he's spooky! No, that you can't go in there. That's not where you go. And of course we have Nightmare Foxy! Ooh, man! <laughs> We're just gonna shut that and keep you in there. Of course, Nightmare Chica, yikes. Oh man. I cannot imagine trying to survive against these guys in like survival mode and I don't want to test it out. And yes, I am a big baby. And just for kicks, we also have... Oh, you didn't see me look at my camera in fear, but I just did that and then I'm assuming nightmares. Yeah, nightmares just the same. Oh geez. Okay. Well, I'll leave the doors open so these guys can roam. Well, plush trap. Don't stare at me with them big old eyes. Yikes. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna go now. If I set the time back to day. Yeah, they all disappear. Oh. That's horrible. Oh, that's terrible. Oh, I love it. But I also hate it all at the same time. Yikes. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of building custom FNAF locations. This was FNAF 4, uh, in case you couldn't tell and you didn't read the title and you've watched this entire video. How the how the heck have you like been here and not known that? But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. This is going to be the last one of these for a little while. I am extremely burnt out in terms of content creation. These suck so much energy out of me. I do still have some videos coming out in the near future here, but none of them are going to be Minecraft FNAF related, so... I'm sorry, but also not sorry. Um, if you guys enjoyed the video, please go check out some of my other FNAF content. I do have a bunch of videos on that type of stuff. Please go check that out. And also, if you haven't already, consider subscribing. Uh, like I said at the beginning of the video, I have a bunch of content that I think you guys would really enjoy. So please go check that out. But in the meantime, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day or night or whatever time it is for you. Stay safe. I love you all. And bye bye.